Hi everyone, it's Eric from ecomma12.blogspot.com and welcome to my Sony Xperia Z2 gaming performance test. Now I've got quite a few additional games here as opposed to the standard ones I've been doing, but let's start off with this new one, Godzilla Strike Zone. Now I saw this one on the Play Store and I was very very interested in actually checking it out, and there's three stages as you can see, and we're going to start off with Halo Jump. Now this replicates the exact same part of the movie, and I think it does it very very well. The graphics, camera angle, eerie tone and music is really accurate to the movie. The movie I did not like, by the way, and I've got a five warnings video, which I'll have the link in the video description. Now, basically, with this, you're gonna have to make sure you do not bump into your teammates whilst you're dropping down in the uh, altitude. And I figured out if you just stay to the bottom right hand corner, you're not gonna get hit at all by your teammates, and then it's just a waiting game for the altitude to drop down to zero. And when it does drop down, you're in for a little, real treat in terms of graphics. Just look at this. That was awesome. Now the game turns out less awesome from this point on, in fact it turns into a glitch zone. It's hard to do something in front of a camera, especially. But what you could actually have to do here is maneuver your way down to the ground or something. I have never managed to do it because this is full of glitches, there are invisible walls everywhere. But yeah, enough of that game, let's move on to Injustice Gods Among Us for mobile, and this game I really do despise the more I cover it. I mean seriously, this is basically the Infinity Blade or Marvel Heroes again, where you're basically swiping on the screen to attack, and the combos are forgetful, they're boring, it's not satisfying, and it's just the same game over and over again, and mo mobile games are supposed to be cheap, they're supposed to be affordable. Now this is free to play, but you can only play a few rounds, then they're going to tell you to pay for in-app content if you want to play again. The costumes cost loads of money, unlocking various other things cost loads of money, and the fact that they even say you can pay £5 for in-app purchase or more to gain these crystals which allow you to play is just absolutely a rip-off. I am disgusted with this game. Absolutely pathetic and horrible. A lot of games are doing this now on mobile, they're trying to really rip you off with in-app purchases, so my best advice to you is to stay away from that. Anyway, let's move on to The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Now, the Galaxy S5 could not run this game very well at all. Now, on the Xperia Z2... As you can see, it's incredibly smooth on the combat and on the web swinging. On the S5, it was lagging so, so much, it was unbelievable. And there you go, you can see all those fast combos are doing very good. Now there are some bad guys right here, which I'm going to have to help the cops run. Like the the cops are trying to fight the bad guys. Well, good luck with that. I'm just going to web swing around the city. As you can see, much, much smoother again on the Z2 as opposed to the Galaxy S5. The Galaxy S5 was very, very laggy in this respect. Now again, I'm trying to prove this part of the game right here. Look, I'm swinging in the w sky. And I'm touching my webs onto nothing, onto the blank sky, but as you can see, they're trying to still make you be convinced that you need to attach your webs onto something. So what, was I attaching my webs onto aeroplanes the whole time or something? But as you can see, again, the game is still very smooth, not lagging. It's around 50 frames per second, it's not 60. Uh, but when you're fighting, it's on 60 frames per second, as you saw at the start of this test, but uh, apart from that, it's very, very smooth. So yeah, definitely I can uh, recommend playing this game on the Xperia Z2. Now the last and final game is Asphalt 8. Now this game is very very graphically pleasing. If you look at it, it's one of the best looking games on mobile right now. Uh, the sun, the f uh, graphics, the road, the cars, everything about it looks really really awesome. Apart from the crashes which look really quite cardboard like and very fake, but as you can see there's motion blur in this game, the graphics look great, I really like that cracked screen it does right here when it says wreck when you uh, destroy your own car. And overall, the graphics just really, really impressed me. I mean, look at this. The sparks as you're, like, being pushed to the side of the road right over there. And again, not the most easiest of games to film. Yeah, as you can see, throughout all these stunts, the Xperia Z2 has been doing a phenomenal job at playing the game. So, thanks guys very much for watching. Please stay tuned for my future coverage videos and of course a full review of the Xperia Z2. 
And please definitely follow me on my social networks. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and Instagram. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see all of you next time. Take care.